welcome to Penguin Heart Studios. I'm Cindy Harrison, your um, artist of residence. <laughs> I keep flubbing up that line, but anyways, um, I'm a decorative painter. I've been painting for over 20, almost 25 years now. And um, I just love being here and sharing with you all my talents. If there's anything I can do to uh, help you on your painting journey, definitely drop me a line either at cindyharrisonart.com or at Paint With Heart on Facebook. Um, today, I'd like to introduce to you again, once again, my fabulous co-host, Melissa Reyes. Hi, everybody. Merry Christmas. We're almost there. This is so exciting to be here on Paint With Heart, our 29th episode, and the last one in the series for our ornaments. And um, again, my name is Melissa Reyes. I go by Ms. Meliz on social media, and I'm just really thrilled to be here with Cindy Harrison, who is her ears are probably burning because I spoke about her all day yesterday about how what a great art teacher she is and what a great friend she is. So I just want to thank her and thank you for having me here on Paint With Heart. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to start by pick up our spoon. I've been looking forward to spooning with Sienna for a long time. This is exciting. And it's like, are you being funny? <laughs> no, I've really been looking forward to it. Okay, everyone's spoon can, you know, all the spoons are different. So you have to kind of make the, uh, make adjustments because this spoon is your typical shape. But look at this one, this one's big and round. So you have to make adjustments depending on what kind of spoon you have. Now it's very hard see what happens right that makes life difficult doesn't it best trick put some slits into the design I do it about four areas so you see how I cut it into fours and then when I put it in they can overlap a little bit I get a better position. See that? Now I'm going to take and try and stick my graphite in there. And because the graphite wasn't scored like that piece of paper, it makes it hard to. Cindy, you're too close up on I your... Know, I know, I know. I'm just trying to finagle it so I, then I'll put it in the right place. All Thank right. you. So I'm going to go in, and sometimes you can just freehand that, but put in where you're going to have the hat brim. And then also put in the lines where the hair is. And if you want to put in where the mouth is, which I can't reach, but. So, sometimes you can, it's just as easy to draw it in, I don't know, by yourself. See, I kind of get some of that glare out. So. Right now, that's the only lines I'm going to put on there. The hat brim and the face. Let's take out some uh, flesh tone. The old school name is flesh tone. The new name is called warm beige. So I'm going to take a filbert brush. That's the one that's rounded at the tip. It's not flat. It's flat this way, but it's rounded that way. See the difference? So I'm going to paint 
his face. Make sure the paint is shaken well. Mine, um, and you don't have any water. I have a lot of moisture in my brush. So I'm gonna have to do this a couple times to get it to be good color, solid color. That's also why we paint them white because, um, let's see if you can tell. See how it's see-through? Because if you, if you had just the silver behind it and you put that on there, it would show up silver and not um, flesh tone. So let's blow dry that. And do another coat. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put some Santa red on the hat because I'll I'll let that dry completely, the flesh tone, and then I'll go back and put another coat. Can you tell us what you're doing now? I am making sure that the layers are dry and then putting on more paint. Mm. You've got his hat and so, beard yeah. and flesh tone face. His hat was two coats of Santa red. His face was probably in my case three coats of flesh tone. And I needed to make sure that that was dry in between coats. If you want to mix some Snow White with some Lamp Black, hello, Snow White and Lamp Black and make a gray value, we can do his hair and um, beard. Not so much black, uh, definitely we're gonna use less black than that's here, but do a medium gray. Uh, whoops, too much black. <coughs> <clears throat> I am better, but still fighting this darn cough. I was just gonna ask you, how are you feeling? Yeah, no, I am better. I'm just, just fighting this cough. It's just the residual. Yeah, that, that lingering, that lingering cough. Yeah, like a, it's like a tickle. Yeah. Mm. I still feel like you need more rest. Well, no rest for the wicked. So I'm gonna just put that in there. I'm already working on ideas for next year's ornament special uh, collection so i am so excited i haven't even shared it with melissa yet <laughs> but it's gonna be awesome you didn't hear me react i went <gasps> i saw you good i was i'm typing i'm 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 chatting with the new people i see now you've added the great um to to make kind of a beard, a gray beard. Yeah. That's really cute. Yeah, I'm only gonna do one coat on that. So if it's a little see-through, that's fine. Cause I mean, you can see how it's a little see-through, but that'll be fine. We're not looking for perfection. Awesome. I like it when she says that. <laughs> so I, Oh, here's a chat. So, a name person is me. Hello, I'm Kathy. Okay. So, oh, hi. do we have two Kathys today, or is it, do you have, are you on two? Name's Kathy. I don't know. And then um, Kathy Barnett, and then the second Kathy. Well, welcome. Okay. So, if you put your eyeballs in there, let me see where they are. 
Okay. I'm going to stick the, uh, try to stick that itty bitty piece of graphite under there to let me know where my eyeballs are. The only problem with working with concave and put your nose in and then you can put your beginning of your mustache and then that little end of the mustache. I know and it, it's not always perfect but if you do enough of them it'll come natural to you. Can you hold that closer so I could, did you already put them in? I can't, can see it. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay. It's crooked. Yeah, but. But it's, it'll work, it'll work. So what we're gonna do is take our. It's interesting, Cindy, how the perspective is on my view right now. I can't tell if you're on the inside of the spoon or the back of the spoon. That is interesting. Yeah. So remember, these are just guidelines. And if they don't line up where you want them, erase them. And then what we're going to do is go in and I'm making happy eyes and I call happy eyes the ones that are rounded on the top and then kind of go straight across the bottom. So kind of add, line that up, go straight across the bottom and round them off at the top. And we, most of us, I don't know, I can't say all of us, but most of us have one eye bigger than the other. Don't go crazy over this. It's just a little different. Obviously if it's totally different, I can understand you wanting to go a little crazy about it. I don't know, can you see that? No, yes. Now you know where the eyes are. You can go in with that black white mix, that gray mix, and you can tuft in some bushy eyebrows. And if you don't want them that bushy, then don't make them that bushy. You can make them less bushy. So I'm going to, always one side comes out better than the other. Uh, it's just the way it is. Can't help it. When that white is dry, you might want to end up, you might want to put a second coat. You know what? What? I didn't pick a color for his eyes. The Santa, what color eyes does Santa have? He has red and green eyes. You're fine. <laughs> Brown. <laughs> Are they brown? Are they blue? I don't know. We might end up having green eyes. They're black. Aren't they black? Dark? I don't care. I guess whatever you want. Is he Nordic? Then he should be blue. <laughs> Is he Nordic? Um, <laughs> I'm going to do a little, go to the edge of the white. And you can do yours on the left. You can do it on the right. I don't care. <clears throat> if you're going to make them have colored eyes, I would put the um, color around the outside of this black area. Wow. It's still, it already has so much personality just with the little eyes. Isn't it interesting how eyes make a personality? Um, I have a couple comments for you here on the side. Kathy Van Roy says that she read somewhere to work on the side that is hardest to paint. And then the other side's going to be easier to paint, like a charm. Yes. It's a good tip. So, very good tip. 
And then I wanted to tell you that it's going to be hard for me when I make mine to make it an ornament. I'm going to want to wear it as a pendant. You, so. Yes, and you can do that. That looks adorable already. It is. Yes, you, you, you can do that. Um, I'm just going to... So when we're done this today, I'm going to go decorate gingerbread houses. Woot, huh? Oh, that's pretty cool. I saw on, fa on Facebook, and I think I shared it, uh, um, a video on many, vid many uh, gingerbread houses. They're so small that when they're finished, they put them on the edge of the mug. Oh, yes. Aren't those adorable? Yes. So I want to make those for Christmas. Yes, you did share them. I saw those. Yeah. I'm going to go with um, a flat brush and some Santa red. And it's a side load, but I want it to be very uh, small side load. So I'm going to stay to the outside of the puddle. Can you see that? Nope. OK, let me move over. Stay to the outside of the puddle and not walk it into that walk it into that paint puddle too much because I want it very narrow. Just a tiny but, bit of red on the corner. But oh. very light, a little bit of red on the corner, but very little, very light. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to add some right under his eye here. And if that's too much, just touch it with your finger or wipe it off and keep blending it on your palette until you get a lighter value, almost like a football player. And then do a little bit right inside his nose. I'm also going to take a little bit, if the nose is dry, and go right underneath the nose, and that's going to be his bottom lip. You see my lip? Mm, yes, I see your lip. <laughs> Let's go back with our fine liner brush and some of that white, and we can place a dot in his eye. And I'm going to take that fine liner and some of the black with a little bit of water in my brush to make it inky. And I'm going to outline his eye. Oh, gosh, that's cute. With the same line of brush and some white, and not, not any water, but some white paint, do um, dot, 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 dot over his, over his um, eyebrows. His eyebrows? Cool. Yeah, my daughter, when she was little, she used to call them ear brows. So, I mean, oh, we, kind of, ear brows. we kind of still do that. So I stopped and I'm like, it's not an ear brow. Cute. Yeah, she had this thing where she came in one day and she says to her Nana, 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 I need a headbang for my ear brow. We're like, a what? A headbang for my ear brow. A what? She wanted a band-aid for her eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute to remember those little phrases and now they're all grown up and Yeah, that was that was thirty-four years well, thirty years ago. Jeez. That's so cute. So yeah, if you wanted color on his eye, I would do it between the black and the white. I would just put a little bit of color between the black and the white if you wanted to go that route. Now, if, does your Santa have eye, uh, eyelashes? If your Santa has eyelashes, you can pull them off. <laughs> so. And we can do a little dot on the inside. But 
It almost starts to look like one of those retro Santas, huh? Yeah, it does. It looks almost like a, I don't know, early 60s style. The big eyes. <laughs> big eyes. Big eyes. Okay. I just wanted to let you know that Milena, Milena says that she's checking in and observing today because she's going to be in and out, but she wanted you to know that she's here. Well, thank you, Melina, for joining us. Okay, I'm going to erase the lines because now that I know where my nose is and my mouth is and all that stuff, I don't need those lines there. So let's see. Next, what I'm going to do is put in the hair. And you can do that with your liner brush and just take and draw, you can draw straight lines, you can draw curly lines. So you see how that works? However you want your hair to be, you can do all that, go a little bit into his face. Then when you do the beard, I start, you know, start straight down and just kinda, I like squiggle, I don't know. I'm a squiggly kind of person. We'll just squiggle some beard here. A little tuft under his chin. Make it full. Squiggle some hair down here. Real, these ones, this is gonna be easier ones than last week, I think. And because the white tends to be a see-through color, if you go back and you add more white, then those the, the second level of white will be more pure. Make sense? Yes, it's gonna be a little brighter and crisper. Yeah. And so you add some layers and depth, depth there. Awesome. You know, I was at um, my Etsy Guild sales marketplace thing at the mall yesterday. Yeah. And I just, I noticed the artists there don't do any of these little intricate touches that you do. This, I didn't notice any side loading. And I actually am not, I'm getting to be a little art snob because I was like, with just a little of instruction, they can improve their art so much. <laughs> And, and that's what happens, and I tell people that taking a class, even if you just take one class, at least it, it educates you on what you're buying when you go to a craft fair. Yeah, yeah, what, you know, to, to, be, to, to be selling a piece that's, you know, 50 or $100, and it doesn't have any shading, it doesn't have any layering, it's just colors, and it's, it's cool, but... I love that I know the stuff now, so I have to thank you. So you're noticing the difference, right? Yes. I'm going to punch up to my number four round, and I'm going to go back with that gray mix. I'm going to create a gray mix, make sure there's no water. Do this gray mix, and now I'm going to do a mustache. So from right in the center of his nose and mouth area, I'm going to flatten my brush and pull it out. Flatten my brush and pull it out. See that? So I'm going to do it on the other side. Flatten my brush. And if I didn't get into that area here, on the corner of his mouth, we can just tuck some gray in there. See? Now with that there, we can go in with our liner brush and pick up some of this white and then draw some detail.
Now, right now, the, the mustache, other than the fact that you have the lines um, going in different directions, the actual mustache can kind of be lost in the hair and the beard. So we need to separate that. And the way we're gonna do that is by the, that dreaded side load again. And you're going to side load that gray mix, maybe a little bit of black, but very light on the black. And you side load by putting that color underneath the hat brim. Very pale, very pale. So you put it underneath the hat brim here. And that might be too dark still, but add a little bit of white. If you have a gray bottle of paint in your repertoire, then you can use that. I try to keep the paint colors down just in case someone has to go buy paint. I hate for them to have to buy a whole bottle of paint when they only need a drop, you know? So I'm putting that in there. Then I'm gonna put it underneath his mustache on his beard part. So the mustache starts showing up. You can also put it under his mouth. And then right where the top of his mustache is, we're gonna put it there as well on his hair. If you wanna tuck a little bit under his nose, you can do on both sides. So now that shows up, see? If, I, if you wanted to get real crazy and tuck a little bit underneath on the bottom of his eyebrows, but I wouldn't do too much. I also put on there burnt sienna as a color. For that, what I should have done first before I put on the um, eyebrows is shaded his under his hat brim on his face, but we can do that now and then just wipe off. the eyebrows. So that's gonna be a small load and that's gonna go right on his face under his hat. And when you get that, go back in with a clean brush and just tap off his eyebrows. Easy peasy. Sometimes it's good that the teacher makes a mistake or not really a mistake, but does something totally different wrong because then you can go back and know how to correct it. And that's you make it look easy. You even make cor those corrections look easy. It shows how small it is too. It's We're not done yet. Quite small. Now, remember that fancy dancy deerfoot brush? Yes. I'm gonna go and pick up some of that black and white gray mixture and I'm going to pounce in the fur on his, on his back. Okay, so we pounce that in there. And again, kind of all matches, right? Wash off your brush, blow dry that. Now we're gonna pick up some um, white. Just pick up some white and I'm only picking it up on the toe. Can you see that I've got hair down here with no paint on it? So I'm just picking it up on the longest ones. And then I'm going to go in and separate the hair from the fur down there. And then I can turn around and do the same on the top. I'm not covering everything that I put on there. I'm just adding some highlights. If you want to add some more just in the middle.
If you have snow text and you want it to be texturized or decorative paste, you can texturize it. But yeah, what do you think? What do I think? It's gorgeous. He's adorable. He looks 3D. I think it would make great um, gift tag kind of adornment, you know, on a package, on on a gift bag or or a box, you know, that you've you've wrapped. I think that would be cool. With a ribbon. And some people they flatten the spoon out. I've seen that done where they flatten the spoon out. You can do the same thing on that. So is that, are you going to put anything else? Sparkles or something? Um, oh, well, if you have to, <laughs> if you really, 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 really want to. A little bit of you snow. Can, you can add some sparkles for his hat. Yeah. I love it. So. I didn't wear my sparkly hat today, but I have my lights. Your lights sparkle. Lights on. Okay, so did Cindy use gesso on the spoon before she started painting her spoon? Yes, she did put a base coat of paint adhesion medium. Is that what she yeah, did? It's either, yeah, it's either paint adhesion medium or multi-purpose sealer. You put that on first and then you cover it with, I think, two or three coats of white. But if you have white gesso or white Rust-Oleum or something like that, that would work fine too. So then we gotta wait for that glitter to dry. And then you'll have red glitter on your on your Santa hat. Oh cute. With this, with this, I added because with the ribbon, there's an opening back here that the ribbon can slide through. So I just thought if there was a way of clipping that ribbon so it doesn't, you know, slide off or whatever. That's why I added this little clip, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take everybody off mute. Sorry, I'm so slow today. Ah, oh, haven't had my coffee. So show me, hold up, hold it up if you have, uh, have completed and we'll see. Oh, look at that Ophelia. That's so cute. I'm going to take some pictures. <laughs> I love sharing these pictures. So does anybody else have a spoon? Oh, I'm going to unmute Ruth. I know how to do that. Whoops. There. Hi, Ruth. I was just finishing my hat band. <laughs> okay. Wait. You'll finish. My, my, it's done. Well, okay. it's, it's, you can look at it, but my spoon is bent the, my spoon is concave instead of convex. So Ruth oh, made one good. and Ophelia made one. Yeah, Ophelia's pretty, hold, Ruth, hold it to the, yeah, to hold the, it up to the camera. Bit more. Okay, I'm going to get uh, to the left. There, there you go. Okay. I'm gonna get, oh, yeah, yes. I like that. Cute. Okay, so mine that, was bent to the back. That's yeah. I want smiles next to it. So Ophelia, make wait, sure wait a minute. Let me in there. And Ruth, make sure you're smiling. Let's see your smile, Ophelia. Okay. Done. Awesome. And there's Cindy. She's smiling. Aw. All right. Those are really adorable ladies. Thank you. They are adorable. Okay. How they all came out. And there's Cindy and they're going back. Okay. Ooh. So yeah, so when it when it dries, it's kind of really fine glitter. If you want thicker glitter, they have twinkles and stuff like that that would work. You're I welcome. do have a special request. This is for my wish from Santa. If anybody has a, has finished their complete set, if they would send a picture or post it on on uh, Facebook, that would be my like a gift personally for me, because I would be so excited to see that. I already gave some away. <laughs> Cindy. Some Cindy. Yeah. Oh, of yours? <laughs> you have to me make them. Did no? you get did you get that recipe that I sent that I forwarded for the crack? Did you get something? Oh. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> but I was telling everybody about it that my 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 new friend makes crack, yeah. Oh crack. crack. Delicious. <laughs> I did. I I, I forwarded it, but maybe I didn't know what I was doing. And then I finished my, I uh, got the holly on my happy feet. Oh, oh let me see. Happy feet. Let, oh. me, let me spotlight you so we can see it close. Oh, look at that. So cute. So cute. Oh, that's beautiful. 
Oh, that's awesome. I like your red nails too. Ruth. Oh, thank you. My nails. You, know what, you know what it is? I'm not really a waitress. <laughs> that's the name of it. That's oh, the so, name oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love, I love those. I love those colors. I, so, yeah, I started to say that uh, if you attend, how did we work that, Melissa? If you attend, uh, four, you know, all four classes or something, you're, or, or, no. Every time you attend a class, live class, your name gets put into a hat. Yes, that's And on it. the fourth class, we will pull a name from the hat and they will win a prize. Right. So every month there'll be a drawing on the fourth week and you accumulate your chances by showing up. You accumulate another chance by bringing a friend. Uh, you accumulate a chance by actually painting with us. So if you're here and you're painting and you brought a friend, you know what I mean? You, you start accumulating more and more points. And we will have all the details posted on the website and in the, in the um, yes. uh, Facebook page. Yes, we're going to formulate the rules and stick to them and make it all official. And um, you'll be rewarded for attending and participating by having a chance to win uh, prizes. So I'm very excited about that. Cindy loves to provide the prizes, and I love to give them away. <laughs> <laughs> so it's 10 minutes of, unless there's other questions, do you want to say goodnight, Gracie? I do. I do have a question. Oh, okay. when, are, when are you starting? Hold when on a second. When's our next day? Oh, that's a good Ruth question. Wants, oh, that's right. So uh, that's a good question. New Year's Day is on the, set on the Sunday. Mm -hmm. So it'll be the 8th. We'll start back up on January 8th, okay. and that's when, that's when we'll start the uh, process. Does that help? Yep. So we have two weeks off. So we have two weeks off oh, because Christmas don't forget is, about us. is on Sunday. It's been, it's been wonderful, and I really appreciate you ladies coming every week, or when you can come, and whether you paint with me or not, and you post your things on Facebook when you're done, I mean, it, it, Melissa and I just, we, our hearts are just filled with, you know, joy that we can't even express with words. It's just wonderful. And we, we really do appreciate it. Yeah, it makes all the effort worth it. And it's just, um, it's such a pleasure to have you with us because when we started, it was just an idea and it was the two of us for a few episodes where we just wish that we would have some people join us. And now we have this little group and we just love you ladies really do. Yeah, so you make next year even better. And I'm anxious to see how many different color hairs ha hair we had because between the two of us, Cindy, I think we had at least eight different colors <laughs> in the last six, eight months. <laughs> yeah, we probably did. <laughs> but it was, I think one time Cindy had eight colors of hair in her hair. Oh, at least five anyway. <laughs> okay, I exaggerate. <laughs> I oh, and Kathy says that we love you both, or both of you. <laughs> it's my oh. dyslexia. Thank you, Kathy. I know we love you too. That's a relief because I'm always afraid I'm going to get kicked off. Oh, yeah. I'm going to spoke it off. <laughs> So say say your good nights, Gracie, and um, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody! Thank you Merry so Christmas. much. Thank Merry you so much for coming to Paint with Heart and to be here with me and Cindy from coast to coast. We look forward to seeing you again next time on Paint with Heart. Thank you. Merry Christmas. So Merry Christmas to you all and all those watching on replay. And uh, I look forward to seeing you all next year in our Paint With Heart studio. I hope that you have a wonderful, safe, healthy, warm uh, holiday season. And um, if you have any questions at all, at any point in any time about anything paint related, you know where you can find me. You can find me on cindyharrisonart.com or on Facebook Paint With Heart. So until next year, and I, it's, it feels weird to say that, mm -hmm. always remember to paint, paint with heart. heart.
<laughs> Thank you so much.